is Fox 44 News at 10. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lauren Maloney. We start with new information from Vermont State Police about Wednesday afternoon's deadly trooper involved shooting. We know the names of both men involved now in the incident in Orange, and we're also learning more about the circumstances that led up to it. Fox 44's Mike Hoey joins us now live from the newsroom with more details. Mike? Well, Lauren, we learned last night the shooting came during a response to a call for a welfare check, but it wasn't the welfare of the man who died that was being checked on. VSP says Trooper Adam Rowaldi fired his service weapon shortly before 1.30 Wednesday afternoon. He's worked for the Vermont State Police for five years and at the Berlin Barracks since last September. Trooper Rowaldi was already at a home on Spencer Road in Orange conducting a welfare check involving a child when he found 41-year-old Jason Lowry unconscious inside a car in the driveway. The trooper requested that dispatch uh, send rescue and... The trooper then went over to engage the individual sitting in the driver's seat. Lowry most recently lived in several unspecified places in central Vermont. When Trooper Rowaldi called for rescue, local police agencies responded too. Barrytown PD and Berlin uh, assisted the trooper after uh, he initially, or excuse me, after he called for backup. Lowry came to and Trooper Rowaldi reportedly spotted a sawed off shotgun in the car. This reportedly led him to order Lowry to get out. After repeated orders, the male finally did exit the vehicle, uh, at which time the trooper attempted to secure the sawed off shotgun that he had seen. Police say he and Lowry struggled over the shotgun. Trooper Rowaldi shot and killed Lowry during that struggle. An autopsy has found Lowry died from gunshot wounds to the neck and torso. The manner of his death has been ruled a homicide. We're told the incident has been captured on a body camera. Detectives have not interviewed Trooper Rowaldi yet, but they will because VSP investigates all officer-involved shootings statewide, regardless of the agency. To avoid any actual or perceived conflicts of interest, we assign detectives when it's, um, especially when it's involving a trooper, uh, we assign detectives from barracks that are outside the specific area where the incident occurred to, uh, to work as, as the lead on those cases. Well, investigators also say, Lauren, that Lowry had an active arrest warrant for fentanyl trafficking, as well as that they found drug paraphernalia in that car. Live in the newsroom tonight, Mike Hoey, Fox 44 News. An update now to a story you saw on ABC 22 News.